class is now open. My uncle mentioned to me, he says, he says, hey, this light fixture above the kitchen sink just never seemed to work very good. As you can see, it's out now. We're going to be demoing that. But before I demoed it, I thought I'd talk to you very briefly about this. You notice these, these are old style fluorescent light fixtures. You see those tubes? Those are T12 tubes. They're kind of big, fat tubes. See, see this tube here? See how much thinner it is? I don't know if you can tell. See how thin that is? As opposed to that, those bulbs. Fat bulb, thin bulb. Okay, well, that T8 bulb is designed for an electronic ballast. Now these old style light fixtures do not have, normally do not have electronic ballast in them. And lots of times, People try to get the thinner bulbs because they think they're going to save money, they're more efficient and everything, and sometimes they even hook into the ends uh, where you think they might fit. They don't necessarily fit as well sometimes as these other ones, depending where you get them. And even if you can get it to work, you might notice, hey, this bulb didn't last as long as I thought. Well, because it's a different style bulb, it could burn out quicker because it's, it's not hooked up to an electronic style ballast. So when they, when they replaced this burned out bulb, this, they replaced it with this T8 bulb. Well, it didn't last very long. And the reason why is because they should have put a T12 bulb in there, that one of the fat bulbs. Okay, the only time you put a, a T8 lamp in there, that's called a lamp. It's not a light bulb. That's a fluorescent lamp. You put a T8, like that thin one, you should have it hooked up to an electronic ballast, and chances are they did not do that. A ballast is something that gets hooked up in there. It's this long, black, heavy thing that fits in there that reduces the power, changes the power around so that the fluorescent lights can work on the circuit, okay? And so I know they didn't do that because all these other bulbs are the fat bulbs. They didn't change these out yet. Okay, well, that's probably why this T8 lamp did not work very long. Now let's go a little bit further than that. Hey Joe, I got some four foot, foot fluorescent light fixtures. I hear if I put the thinner bulbs, they don't cost me as much. I, I run less electricity and I want to do that, but I hear I have to retrofit my light fixture. How do I do that? Well. Usually what you can do is you take that apart and then that ballast gets changed in size as black, rectangular, heavy piece of uh, material that fits up in there. It's encased and it's got wires coming out of it. And I'll show you that after a while when I get ready to demo this. But this just was just a quick and dirty. Okay, You replace that with an electronic ballast. It looks about the same. It's not as fat. It's thinner. And it, and it will last longer. But once you do that, then you have to change these bulbs to the T8, which are the thin bulbs. And sometimes the ends of the light fixture might even have to be replaced. And if this was in a bigger fixture, sometimes they give you a case that comes out that's kind of a foil type uh, case uh, that reflects the light out better and you can do something like that or if you just want to change out the electronic ballast and the bulbs and maybe the ends if you need to okay then it will run cheaper chances are you're not going to do that if you only have two lights in a garage or a storage room or something like that mainly most commercial buildings do that because they may have hundreds of light fixtures to change out then you see all of the the amount of savings they'll have on the electricity bill and sometimes they'll get a rebate um, from from the county and or or from the electrical company that pays for that you pay your electricity bill to so just check that out next time if you're interested now I believe most of the light fixtures that you get nowadays are the LED style not the LEDs but the but the T8 bulbs, lamps like this one, and they already come with the electronic style ballasts, okay? If you buy them today, 
you don't have to worry about doing any retrofit. Now, one more thing about retrofitting. Now, sometimes now, I have not checked into it, but I hear that you can get LED style lamps now. Then you've got to change out from the electronic ballast and the T8 lamps to something different, okay? If you want to look into that, check that out at your favorite hardware store. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.